Well guys, uh, today's video we are going to be covering how to make your own gameplay for SC25. So to get started, you will need one of two tools, which I think there's only two that exist. One is the FIFA editor tool, which is very well known. And there's the Frostbite modding tool. Um, as I develop the Frostbite modding tool, I will be using that for the purposes of this video. But you can, honestly, you could do this in either. Okay. I will provide links to both tools in the description of this video. You open up Frostbite modding tool, open the editor. Once everything's loaded up, um, if you're using FIFA Editor, you will find the gameplay here. So the FIFA Attributor gameplay. And then from there on, if you're using FMT, um, I've made it simpler so it's in its own category tab. And it's all there. It's exactly the same thing just been in a different place and more organized for uh, as I produce my own gameplay mods. So uh, gameplay obviously is a giant thing to talk about. Um, I would likely split this into multiple videos. Let's see how this goes. In this video I was going to cover the basics, um, what is here, and then possibly say slow, slow the movement down. To a reasonable pace. I'll even go crazy with it and see what the edge cases are. So get familiar with this. This sort of um, tree view, should we say? It says FIFA Tribulator gameplay, and then uh, EA have done things in weird ways. So it started back in FIFA 20, where you could do this kind of gameplay modding. Um, so you could go into gameplay and all you'd see is groups. Nothing else. It wasn't pretty much all this databases. So databases is for Volta and Rush. So Rush is all done in Penta. So if you want to do any mods for that, you can. Uh, I won't be covering that in this tutorial or tutorial series. Um, but it, it's essentially the same thing. So you see how groups, groups is 11 versus 11. Very strange how they put it into two different places. But essentially, that's the same thing. So you see, you've got GTA there, Ball Hunter, and Groups has got the same thing. Uh, in this video, we're going to be covering 11 versus 11. So, what we will do GT Actor. You have Action, Facial, Anim, Movement. You probably won't. Be up modding facial anim at all but action and movement are very important to the speed of the game but because it both affect how the ai do things and your control when you're controlling the player let's open up gp actor movement runtime screen this so at the top of this you have multiple options for animation speeds so each of these will have an array which is a list essentially of numbers 0 to 10 
just one per lamb. Why they use a lamb, I don't know. So essentially, the higher this number, the longer it takes to play the animation. So if you put a number of four, five, six, you could see it going in a very slow motion sort of animation rather than the standard one. So one would be the animation as it was recorded by the uh, mocap team. So in theory, one is possibly best ratio to put because that would be the realistic amount. But sometimes the game engine doesn't lend it well itself well to that kind of tuning. You may have to go higher to achieve a slower gameplay, a slower in inverted commas. So the best initial settings you really want to be messing with would likely be dribbling. See how these are quite low, which is why you get such jittery movement in vanilla. So you'd likely probably want to uh, increase these to You would then want to adjust these ratio scale by height and by height dribbling. So anything not covered here under these arrays will be included in this to any other animations. Um, on top of that, these animation playbacks are multiplied by the amount you put in here. Now, EA use something called a float curve and you adjust the float curve points along that curve. Imagine a graph, I, I'm not sure how many of you are mathematicians, but if you were going to plot some coordinates on a graph, this is what you would get. X, Y. X, Y, X, Y. of info for this. The X for this is feet. So you guys working in um, freedom units, which is meters, would not like this at all. But me in the UK, this is far more manageable. So this would be 5.25 feet. It's not 5.2 inches, by the way. It's 5.25 feet. 5.6. 6.3 so on so on so you could reduce this quite heavily and you will notice an immediate difference in the game let's go crazy let's do the same for dribbling Now we get to the fun stuff. They've used 0 0.23 as the value for this since I can remember. Strange. So the game speed for uh, general movement and player movement has always been the same. As much as people like to say it's different between games, gameplay modification wise it's been exactly the same. So there may be an underlying modifier that we cannot see, that are just as slightly in the background. Or the animations have changed over time, and because the animations have changed, the speeds actually change on top of that. None of us are any the wiser. So all I can suggest you do is change this up, down, uh, wherever direction you want to take it, until you feel comfortable that it suits the speed you want to achieve. Um, 
So some people will go, and I know this is crazy, half that to achieve the speed they want. Some people like the slow motion gameplay. I'm in between. So I'd go something 18, 19, something like that. For the purposes of this video, we're going to go crazy and make it kind of break, but we will do it. So we should put that there. So jog is when you're holding the controller down, but not sprinting. So I'm saying holding the movement in a direction, but not sprinting. So you're holding it all the way across. The walk is when you're holding it slightly. And then you've got the jog speed is when players without the ball. So you've got dribbling. So imagine player with the ball where it says dribble, player without ball where it doesn't say dribble. It's that simple really. So if you wanted your gameplay, um, so you didn't want defenders catching up with your attackers, you'd always want this to at least be on the same level as dribble, because then the attackers can get away from the defenders. I personally like them on the same level, so it gives us a sort of an even playing field. If you've got a good defender who can run fast, you want them to catch the player, because that could be a thing you want. You want a faster defender in your team. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you what it can be like if you put it very slow. Okay. First mod done. Make sure you save. Very important, guys. <laughs> very, very important. A few moments. Okay, let's launch the game with these changes. SEA, I would like to use my controller, thank you. Uh, you, your best, you're testing. First test, using learn to play. Practice arena. Look how slow he is. Oh, he can't move. It's painful. Ugh. I can do this. Maybe not. Yes, I can. Damn. So there you go. Your first mod has been built, guys. I hope this helps. I will move on to the next video where I will be focusing on passing, shooting, and everything else.
Peace, life, and surprise. Right, guys. Thank you.